Another day, another dollar. Uh, I think we finished populating this with the electronic components. Uh, there's a couple of uh, variable um, resistors to put on. But other than that, the resistors, diodes and electrolytic capacitor are all on now. Uh, what have we done wrong? Uh, be careful soldering around the back here. I just touched this track with my iron by mistake and uh, thereby I've got a little blob of solder on it. So as soon as I, it's the switching track I'm going to have to clean that off one way or another. Other than that, so far it's gone not too bad. I'm still in the dark about one or two things. Uh, you see, I think I finished populating and then I'm looking at it and I can see uh, D6 and D5, two diodes there, uh, electrolytic capacitor, and I've got nothing else left. We've got no more components, so let's have a look on the um, schematic. Need to find a bed. What's happened? I'm called Dr. Lau. What is it? Emmanuel has been attacked. He tried to see Aminul Hock. He was attacked with a blade. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is my fault. Let's clear a bed. Oh, no. Yeah, well. He's coming in now. They might be on there. But they're not. On here, we have no. Um, we've got D3, D4, D2, and D1. We have not got. Then it would be better, Ibrahim, if you put down that blade. So this is a real suck it and see job. Also we've got the thing on the buzzer. There ain't no buzzer in the kit. We've got everything out now. I've populated this uh, socket for the transistor testing. I put the little uh, blades in it. So that's ready to go on the circuit board by... Oh yeah. To you, Rebecca, but I told him that no, surface mount on the there. Right, and that. Seems to have the that it's only the white it's starting to worry me now that we either we haven't got all these bits or on here. Hello? Huh? You can't see them, but you, they've definitely got a buzzer okay. linked in, and there's the definitely not one of them in the kit. In the so I'm going to have a look in my little stock of uh, things and see if I've got a buzzer. So I'll come back. Right. Uh, I found a little speaker. But there definitely wasn't one in the kit. Uh, I'm still worried about some of these other things. It also, because it covers Lincolnshire, the group I'm with, it means you get a wide variety of experience because there's so many soil types. Uh, we have tremendous backing from the Hardy Plant Society. But we'll have to continue. The next thing I'm... And support well, I've put the so variable... ...resistor on there. And I'm going to solder on these... Uh, sockets for the probes 
Why don't you welcome Buddy Davis, a... Bob Fire and Christine Walkton, Carmen, so Hardy, and of course perennial gardener's question time Paddy. Oh, there's another one, yeah. I'm sure the one. Oh, there it is. So we'll get them soldered on and I'll come back shortly. And here in agricultural Lincolnshire, we might or longly, depending on which comes first. Right. Oh, good introduction, that. Right. Anyway, we're back. And I have finished, obviously, populating it. Uh, What was I going to say? There are several components marked on the circuit board that have nothing to do with this particular multimeter, which is the MF47. Also on this diagram is this R28. Uh, which is marked as a, a resistor of 0 0.025 ohms. In fact it's this great big thick link which links to the it links the uh, the common to the 10 amp for some reason but not being an electrician obviously if it was somebody like uh, Big Clive he'd be telling you exactly what each of the things do and how they're linked and he'd get a piece of paper out and he'd reverse engineer it and go yeah and that's it and that's why I don't know all I'm doing is assembling this kit as best I can. It might be of help to somebody, it might be a complete hindrance. But there we are, it is together, it does work. Um, and I say that that was the main thing that didn't know where it went, but eventually it fits there, I think. And the, the thing is working. So we can uh, just pop the back on or not oh we're getting there we're getting there oh click clunk it's on there are two screws, that's the only thing I've got left. I used some different wires. These were some of the wires and links that came with it. And I used different ones. Oh, there was also a link, oh, I've shut it now. But there was, on the circuit board, there was also a link wire marked. Uh, jumper, J1 which is just a wire run between two points so I used one of the wires that came with it but these I thought were a bit sh these I felt were a bit short for putting it together and having a yeah maneuver thing so I, I put on some of my own wire other than that everything is as per kit uh, oh I put the speaker on and it doesn't work <laughs> there doesn't seem to be um, continuity test on it so um, that was a waste of time uh, that's the fuse under there so there we are Ooh, I've got a couple of leads plugged into it we can switch it on to 2.5 volts I've got a 1.5 volt battery there. This will require adjusting and trimming uh, put that on there and that on there and oh. Oh. 
zoom in on it a bit. Oh, I am being summoned. Hang on a second. I've been summoned for my tea. So I'll be going for my tea now. But I'll just do this little test. So negative on the negative of the battery. Positive on the positive of the battery. And oh, nothing happens. God, I can't hold it. I used to get, ah, there we go. Ah, so when you've worked out all the gradu graduations, as you can see, it is working, and it is also working on ohms. I put the two leads together, swing the dial right round, and there we go. And it goes right up on 10k to the full jobby. Anyway, it was a bit of fun. It is done. That's the adjustment for zero in the ohms. So we can zero it on the zero there um, and get a resistor. And it says it's two ohms. I'll have to check that. But there we go. Is measuring something so thanks for watching thanks for bearing with me hope it's been of some help because there were no destructions other than the schematic so if somebody else is building one it might shed a bit of light into the darkness See you again on the next one.